In this series, arguably the two worst duelists at Night Mound, James and Pat, will battle in a head-to-head. -head. In each episode, we will open five card packs of a non-core set, starting with reprint packs and then moving on to other sets. The minimum deck size has been reduced to 20 cards instead of 40, which increases the consistency of each strategy. Unlike the progression series, the cards open from each set will not carry over, and therefore the duelists will have to rethink and revamp their strategies every single episode. Welcome to Draft Mode. Hello and welcome to our fourth episode of Draft Mode here at Nightmare Media. So in this episode we'll be covering Dark Revelation Volume 2. In this set, unlike last two weeks, we will have access to Invasion of Chaos cards and Ancient Sanctuary cards. These two cards will switch up the meta a little bit, and I think that James, in just a few moments, will be able to cover exactly how that is going to happen. Okay, so let's break down some of the cards that are in Dark Revelation Volume 2. As you can see at the top, pajamas, don't care. I'm not gonna play them. Uh, it's just something interesting to note. So, I think easily one of the most important cards in here. Black Luster Soldier, Envoy of the Beginning. All of the Chaos cards are in here. So, if you pull one of them, and you actually manage to pull a Light in the Dark, I don't know what the ratios are in here, it's gonna be insane. Again, everything's at three. We are using the current version of the cards, however, so... We'll see, you know, if anyone manages to pull off a win with any of these Chaos cards. BLS is very powerful. Chaos Source for you see there. And of course, Envoy of the End. Chaos Emperor Dragon, the OG right there. Not as powerful as he is in the Progression series where we're using the pre errata version of the card. But if we pull it, unlikely since it's an ultra rare, but if we pull it, definitely gonna be playing it unless I don't pull one of a light or a dark and that's gonna be a very sad day. Other than that, I'm not really impressed by what is in this set. There's not as many power cards as there was in the first one that we didn't actually get to draw or play with, which is kind of sad. We do have something that I'm interested in. Enraged Battle Ox, not a bad card. Obviously it's a straight upgrade to the original Battle Ox, which has a decent stat line and it works with itself. So pulling one of these, not a problem. Uh, you can put it in there and you're going to be able to use this effect. The other thing is Black Tyranno. <laughs> Being able to attack directly, force your opponent's cards down, are in the defense position somehow. I don't think there's anything in this set that can do that. We don't have Tsukiyomi. We don't have Stop Attack if you would want to play to, uh, Stop Attack, but it is still a very good card. Two tributes to get out and so unless you're playing Ultra Evolution Pill, which is also in this set, not gonna be easy to get it out. Plus it's an ultra rare, so probably no one's gonna pull it, but again, we'll we'll see. And then the last thing that I wanna talk about is compulsory. So it's removal, not a whole lot of it going on in the set, so being able to have that removal can really end your opponent, especially since there's a lot of cards in this set that are very difficult to get out, given the, you know, the format and they're incredibly powerful but they can just be bounced back and that basically ends your opponent's chance at winning and of course you can see at the bottom there self-destruct button one of my favorite cards something that i hope to be able to play in the progression series but i doubt it because wall of revealing light is that one as well and no one is letting me bump wall of revealing light out no one is letting me bump self-destruct button out so probably can't play it there probably not going to play it here but if i do pull it i might throw it in the side deck and see if I can pull off some draws just to uh, just piss Patrick off. But enough of that. Let's see what we actually draw. All right. Last week is a little rough, but this week I think we can come back with five packs of Dark Revelation Volume 2. All right, let's see what we get. First pack. Okay, this is interesting. Um, I don't know what any of this stuff does. <laughs> I, I mean, that's a good defender. Um, that could be interesting. Smasher Ground's good. Okay, I know what that does. Stealth Bird is some kind of burn stuff, I think. What is this guy? Monsters in your cards. Oh, okay, so it's like a it's like a Grand Maju Deiza, but like 
with graveyard stuff. Okay, that's interesting. All right, so Dark Revelation Volume 2 coming off of our comeback, very rapid comeback last week. So uh, we've got Chaos this set and everything else to talk about. So let's see if we can actually get some power cards here. Starting out, all right, we already got Zaborg. Super rare. Starting off with Monarchs, that's good. Uh, not really impressed with anything else in here. <laughs> kind of drop my yellow, don't really care about that, but uh, I think Zaborg makes this first pack already worth it. All right, moving on to pack number two. Uh, I don't know what any of this stuff does. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, what does this do? Okay. So chain disappearance isn't that bad. That can be used for removing really low uh, attack monsters. But... Besides that, I don't really know what most of these cards do. Okay, so this is basically a Chaos Earth guy. Which I think, I yeah, I've got another Earth down here. I'm sure I'll pull more. All right, pack number two. Another Ojama Yellow. Wow, okay. Monster Gate. I think I can work with that. DNA Transplant. Wow, yeah, just overall not really impressed with this pack. These cards are worth $0.00 according to Yu-Gi-Oh! card pack opener. That's... That's depressing. All right, moving on to pack three. I have no idea what any of this stuff is. <laughs> um, I used I used to own this card. It's not good, I don't think. Yeah, it's not good. Might be good in this format, considering how like crappy our, our pulls are going to be, probably. Um, but yeah, other than that, not really anything in here that I at least know. I you know, could find something actually good, but not that I would know. Pack number three, Grand Maju. Okay, okay. Unfortunately, we do not have what is it? Pot of Banished Ten to draw two. I can't remember the name of that card for some reason. Pot of Extravagance, I think. But you know, it's still a nice card. Yeah, man, just not super impressed with this. Started off strong with with Zaborg, but I don't know. Since then, haven't uh, haven't gotten much. Tower of Babel's all right. I don't think there's a whole lot of spell and trap removal in here. At least I'm not pulling any, so. All right, moving on to pack four here. Uh, 2,000 Needles. I played 1,000 Needles last game. 2,000 Needles is a worse version of it. <laughs> Earthquake isn't that bad. I can use that to switch monsters to defense position. Besides that, I have no idea any of this stuff. So, we'll see what we can get. Alright, pack number four. Another Grand Maju. Wow. Um, what is this? Dedication through light and darkness. Yeah, not gonna be able to play that. Blazing and Patchy. We might just have to play some sort of weird beatdown because we are not pulling anything... Uh, no chaos. No, you know, depressing so far. All right, this is our last pack here. Um, I have no idea. I, do, I didn't, I don't know. Okay, Compulse is good. That's good. We have Chaos Sorcerer. That's actually Chaos. That's actually really, really good. Um, all right, that's fine. Um, and I've got some darks and lights here anyway. Uh, so we're playing Chaos Beatdown, I guess, because I, I, I don't know what anything else here does. So... I'll see you guys in the duel, and I'll try to figure something out, I guess, and learn about the cards. All right, final pack. We're going to see if we can open up something good here. Come on. Another Zaborg, okay. Uh, vampire Lady. I'm actually pretty okay with seeing Vampire Lady. I love playing vampires. But beyond that, yeah. All right, I'm not quite sure what we're going to do, but it's going to involve Zaborg, and... um. Probably trying to beat Patrick into the ground. So I'll do my best and I will see you guys in the, uh, the deck explanation. All right, so I think I might have something here that actually can do things. Now, if James pulled Black Luster Soldier or Chaos Emperor Dragon, I'm done. It's over. I've lost the game. Okay, <laughs> that's just, that is how it's gonna go. If he didn't, I have a chance. So we'll find out, you know, in about 20 minutes of whether or not that is the case. But I've got a couple strategies going on here right now. 
And that's always a bad way to start out explaining the deck. <laughs> so I've got Chaos Sorcerer in here. And he will be able to banish a light and a dark to come out. And he can uh, destroy a face-up monster on the field and uh, once per turn. So that's great removal. I also have uh, you know Earthquake to set things to defense mode. I can make them have zero defense. Take them out that way. I also have Smashing Ground, so if I want to take out something that I can't get over. I have Compulse, I have Chain Disappearance. Uh, so I have a lot of great monster removal in the main deck. I'm expecting a bunch of monsters. And I'm hoping we just kind of trade back and forth monsters. Because then I can get Chaos Necromancer out here on the field. And if I've got, say, 10 monsters uh, in the graveyard, then he's going to get super strong. Now, even if I don't, if I have anything over 8... Uh, I don't think that there's going to be anything that he can beat over me with. In the side deck, I've got a bunch of Earth targets, so I can banish for Gigantes. Uh, also, I've got Balloon Lizard, which is an interesting card that every turn I just stack up uh, damage on it. And once it gets destroyed, all that damage gets inflicted uh, to me. Wait, hold on. I thought that would be inflicted to him. Okay, I'm getting rid of that then. <laughs> uh, anyway, so I, didn't, I got that wrong. But regardless, I've got a bunch of Earth targets in here for Gigantes. I've also got Witch Doctor of Chaos in case he's running Chaos and I need to keep him off of a light or dark, depending on what he's got. I've got a couple of cards in here. DD Borderline is uh, effectively a way for me to stall out if I need to, uh, to prevent any kind of uh, battle phase happening. And I can stop it um, by playing a, a spell card, effectively. So that is a way of getting around that. I guess it's a decent enough floodgate. And then obviously Dimension Distortion uh, is kind of the same thing, but that would only be if I've got, uh, you know, just a light and a dark and then a Chaos Sorcerer or something, then I could see that being, uh, being in play. The rest of these are kind of very situational stuff, but I could see them being very powerful when it comes to spell removal. So that's basically the rundown of what I've got here. It's not very good. I'm not, not expecting to win this week. You know, I'm just going to spoil it. I don't think I will. But depends on what James pulls. If he pulls crap, then I'll probably win. So I'll see you guys in the duel. All right. So this is my deck. It's not good. We're going to lose. So grand strategy here is basically try to get Zaborg out and beat him to death with it. If he does manage to pull chaos or anything else that focuses on special summoning, then Zaborg is pretty good at taking out priority monsters. I've got two of them, so, you know, targeted destruction. I also have special hurricane in case he manages to swarm the field somehow, and in case the game kind of starts to draw, you know, draw out a bit. I do have Tower of Babel and Manthro Tro, um, and a ton of normal monsters to kind of whittle him down. Um, defensively, I also have a Hero Emerges um, and Energy Drain. Uh, you can tell this is such a great deck because I'm you know, running top tier cards. Though you know, you'll know, you well notice that there's a ton of monsters in here. That's because I have Monster Gate. I'm trying to keep, keep the game rolling, I guess. So yeah, strategy is, strategy number one, beat him to death with Zaborg and some high power level fours like Neobug and Blazing and Patchy. Backup strategy is burn him to death with Tower of Babel, um, Manthro Tro, and in the meantime, just trying to keep him off of any powerful monsters using Zabor, Special Hurricane, and um, Legendary Jujutsu Master. So, I don't know how this is gonna go. Probably not well, but it should be entertaining. All right, I'll see you guys in the duel. All right, James, I'm ready to uh, come back here. I don't think that's what's going to end up happening, but we're going to we're going to give it a go. Bro, I pulled <laughs> garbage. Hot garbage. <laughs> if you don't win this, I'm going to be shocked. I you know, I think we both pulled garbage based on what you're telling me here. We'll we'll see what ends up happening cuz the strategy I'm running might make you laugh. Let's not forget that we're I talking, will. of course. Full full power <laughs> chaos is in this set. You could have po yes, potentially full pulled full power is chaos. In this set. Um, I can guarantee you I did not pull full power chaos. So, alright, I'm gonna draw for turn. Stand by main. Um. Uh, what do you got, bud? Nothing good. <laughs> I can tell you that much. <laughs> I'm gonna set a card, and I will set another card. No, my turn. 
I mean, I know it's in my deck, and none of it is good, so... Oh my goodness. At least I only have to play for 14 turns. <laughs> That's, like a... That's what you think. Uh, well, I've got 14 cards. I can't play for longer than that. Summon Blazing and Patchy. Oh my god. Battle phase. That, that I will a, attack your defense position. That is a big boy. All right, so that goes to Grave. What is that? Just oh, Stealth Bird. It's a Stealth Bird. And you yelled at me for using that card in the, <laughs> in the progression series. You were so upset. <laughs> so upset. How dare you. Um... Standby main. Uh, I, uh, I, uh, I will. I will set me. <laughs> this is riveting. I'm doing so well. I'm doing so well. Standby main. 1850 beater. I can't get. Summon vampire lady. Oh, of course. Activate Robin Goblin or Robin Zombie, not Goblin. Okay. Battle phase. Blazing and patchy attack your defense fish monster. All right, I'm gonna destroy that. Oh, you suck. It's... Yep. I was gonna make you mill too. <laughs> nope, that's not gonna happen here, buddy. Oh, finally I've got something. Okay. Oh man, I, I wish I could have milled that. Yeah, nope, that, this is actually a very important card, so <laughs> I'm glad you did it. Set. Okay. Battle phase, attack. Alright, take whatever that is. What is that, 250? Yeah, 250. Stole Tiger. That's a hell of a yeah, wall. That is a hell of a wall, I can tell you that much. Go ahead. Alright. Stand by main. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tribute summon. Oh no. <laughs> what the hell is that? Terra King Salmon. Shit, I did that in the wrong order. Um, do you mind if I use Earthquake first? Absolutely okay? not. This was... Okay, that's fine. Why would you want to do that? To set your blazing Apache to zero and I just get over it. Whatever. Fine. You can get over it anyway! Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> What's wrong with you? What is that? Attack. 550. Lots of... I've said this multiple times. Lots of things that have nothing to do with the game. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to set your monster to defense position. That way you take no battle damage, please. Uh, yeah. Well, at least you know what I have in my hand now. All right, I want to turn. <laughs> All right. I don't think you can get over a 2,400 meter though. I think I'm. I think I'm gonna keep that on the board for a while until you get like compulse or something. I think that you are potentially correct, sir. <laughs> I don't know. Do you have compulse? Uh, perhaps. I don't know what I'm gonna <laughs> do here. Well, you got Robin Zombie. Yeah, not not a whole lot of good when I can't attack you. I'm gonna I'm gonna play defensively <laughs> now. We have we have uh, traded off who is beating who. All right, stand by me. I'm gonna normal summon. Grenadora what the in attack heck? position. <laughs> this is, okay, I have to say, this is one of my favorite things about this uh, this series is we, we just pull out cards and we're like, what is that card? Because none of these are any good. No, they're not. All right, I'll attack that one. All right, he goes to the graveyard. What is it? <laughs> Man, bro, bro. <trow. laughs> okay, well, I'll attack that one too. He also goes to the graveyard. <laughs> Dude, it's no Jama. It's no Jama. What are you? What are you running? What is this? I cannot wait until I cannot wait until I'm in the editing booth and I look at what your deck breakdown is because I'm going to laugh so. I hard. told you you have this week, man. <laughs> I literally said I think I'm going to lose as like the opening sentence in my deck breakdown. This is. Awesome. I did the exact same thing. This is not like a series. The series is great. All right, we're gonna we're gonna play fast and loose here. I normal summon Ojama Yellow in attack position. Why? And then I activate Monster Gate, tributing Ojama Yellow. Okay. <laughs> Excavate cards until I find a monster that can be normal summoned, and then I special summon it. So. Okay. Nope. Nope. There it is. There you go. Oh, you have Zabor! I do have Zabor. It's not Tribute Summoned. No, it's it is not, not Tribute, tribute summoned, summoned, unfortunately. Uh, I'm going to activate in response a Smashing Ground. You cannot activate that on my turn. Damn it. All right, well, I'll just, I'll, that, you didn't see that. It has the highest defense. Ah, got you. <laughs> um, and then I am going to banish... Uh... Manthro Tro to normal summon Gigantes. Or special summon. Oh my games. god! 
battle phase, <laughs> the Borg will crash into Terra King Salmon. <laughs> what is going on? Then, and then you're gonna crash here? Yeah, it'll take 2,000? Yep, well, no, you don't take any. Oh, yeah, you do from yeah, that. No, I forgot about that. Gonna from and then. See, I had a. Gigantes dies. Yep. I hit two grave. It's just taking forever. Oh, okay. No and worries. then all spell uh, and trap cards are also destroyed. Are you serious? Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what it does. Um. So that just happened. Yeah, so we've started the game over again. Yeah, but you have, like, significantly less cards than I do. Um, okay. That actually gets me going. Okay, I'm gonna so I'm gonna normal summon this guy. Stand by main. Oh, okay. And I'll, just, uh, and I'll just attack for <laughs> 1800. That's fair. Uh, and then in my turn because you have like zero resources, so this is you know you're kind of top deck mode. Normal summon Neobug, oh. attack and crash. Oh yeah, I have that one too. <laughs> <laughs> and we started over again. Yep. That's interesting, it's not going to help me right now because you have no monsters in the defense position. I'm going to normal summon this guy. <laughs> You're just going to keep slowly blowing <laughs> me down. And I'll attack you directly. <laughs> yeah, I think you're going to lose your mind when you see what I just pulled. So, Or what I've had in my hand the whole time. I hate this deck so much. <laughs> Is your deck like just straight garbage? It is hot garbage. Do you have a monster? Yeah, I got a monster. Oh, okay. That's fine. So, I'm going to no stand by main. We're normal summon this guy. Yep. And his ability is yeah, I'm aware. the only cards on your opponent. <laughs> you have one? Yep, I've got one. <laughs> okay. I'm going to attack with Absorbing King to find out what that is. Oh, I can get over it? Yeah, Perfect. you can get over it. So I'll take a I'll thousand. I'll attack directly for one thousand. <laughs> what is going on right now? This is, this is literally per Playground Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. What's going on? I normal summon Neobug. Oh no, another one. And I will attack for 500. Alright, that's fine. I think I would. You, you should have gained 900 life points, by the way. Why? From absorbing kid from the sky. Oh! <laughs> Thanks for letting me know. I'm here for you, buddy. <laughs> this duel this duel is just all levels. Oh, great. Excellent. That's even better. I'm going to set a card. Uh huh. I'm going to. Uh. Normal summon. Mm hmm. Drilago. Mm hmm. I'm gonna banish a light in the dark. What are you doing? <laughs> Do you have chaos? I'm gonna normal summon chaos sorcerer. What the? You pulled chaos sorcerer? <laughs> uh, battle phase. Um, I'm gonna attack your thing for 500. And then I'll get in for another 26 and win. That's exactly game. I hate you. <laughs> oh, my deck's so bad. Pulled a freaking Chaos Sorcerer. It is. That's all I got. That's all I got. I hate you. Yeah. I will go James, first this time. And I will win. By sheer uh, protagonist power. Are you sure about that one, buddy? I am 100% certain. I'm a set. I don't think so. I drew like almost the exact same hand. Set, and I'm a pass. I guess this is. Oh my god, this is amazing. Okay. Alright, stand by main. Do you have anything for me? No. Alright, I'm gonna set, set, and pass. Alright, I draw. Okay. Um, stand by main. I activate trap dust shoot. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's, it's not in this I was going to say, it's not in this set. So I'm going to tribute Jujitsu. Oh, Zaborg! For Zaborg, pop your monster. I activate Compulse. Okay, your monster still gets popped. That's fine. Does it go to Grave? Yes, it goes to Grave. Uh, <laughs> what you got? Uh, well, that was my normal summon, so I end my turn. Yep. <laughs> Sounds about right. Uh, okay, stand by main. I'm going to bring back an old friend. Neobug. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Attack. You're not prepared for what I'm about to summon. Is it Neobug? I summon Neobug in attack mode. <laughs> no, Neobug, it's too strong. It's the most powerful card. Uh, battle phase, crash. <laughs> Can't let you have tribute, what tribute fodder. What is going on right now? Uh. See, I've got like three different things I want to do, but like, all right, I'm gonna set a card. What am I doing? 
All right. The cards in my hand are just stupid. <laughs> are you ready for what I'm about to summon? <laughs> no, I'm not. Is it Neobug? It's Neobug. <laughs> no, Neobug! I will attack. All right, so its effect will go off. Is that a trap? It is a trap. All right, destroy it. Order to smash. <laughs> Main phase two. I'm going to set and pass. Uh, okay. Don't you judge my trap cards. <laughs> Step by me. I'm going to set a card. Oh, my turn. I draw. All right. Are Damn you going to tribute me. to Zaborg again? I'm going to tribute to summon Zaborg <laughs> and pop your monster. All right. And I'm assuming the flip doesn't it go It does off. not. Uh, okay. All right. I'll take the 24. Yep. Attack directly for 24. No worries. I'll take it. And I will end. Zaborg is so strong. The fact that you got it. What, what rarity is that? Super rare. Oh my god. I didn't get any super rares. All right. I'm going to set. Is set. Chaos Sork not? Oh. What the hell? No. Nope. Change his appearance. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Nope. That's uh, not I'm a bad set. card. Nope. It's not a good card, but it's not a bad card. I'm gonna set, and I'm gonna set uh, another card. See, it, like I hover over it and I try to set T set and just like squeeze it. I up. know. The menus last way too long. Stand by main. What do you got, bud? Uh, nothing. Okay. Unless you summon a monster with a thousand or less attack. Oh, I guess not. Vampire lady. Battle phase, uh, I will attack with Zaborg. Okay. So, uh, that card just dies. Yes. And then, and then you're going to get it for 1550? Yep. And then send a spell card to the graveyard. Okay, what happens if I can't? Uh, your opponent sends a... Then, can't, then you don't send it, I guess. Then I called wrong. Okay. You'd, have to okay. you'd have to prove that you couldn't, though, by showing me your deck. Yeah. And, like, that would be ridiculous. I mean, I'd show you the nine cards, yeah. <laughs> um, okay. So, I'm gonna make. I'm just gonna do a big brain play. Here. All, right. All right. I'm gonna banish a light and a dark. Okay. And you know what's coming? Yeah. Chaos sword. Yep. Chaos sword. You have a field. light. Oh shit! You. Sucks. Okay. That was what you just killed. Yep. Yep. Um. So I'm gonna utilize his effect. Uh huh. To, to pop yours aboard. Yep. So I destroy it or banish it. Um, that that destroys it. it. Oh, banishes it. That does banish it. Okay. So yeah, your Grand Maju is going to have 300 attack. When it comes 400, out. bro. It's 400 for Four, Oh, sorry, sorry. I'm going to Tribute Summon for Terra King Salmon. Wow. This is probably the wrong move, but I'm going to attack over your Vampire Lady. Though. Um, sure, yeah. All right. Take the damage. Uh, what is, is it? Like yeah, nine, 950. What is it, 950? Okay. <clears throat> Alright, so Zaborg's gone, Chaos Orc is gone. There goes all of our, our big our big cards. The only thing left is Terror King. Um <laughs> You can't summon anything with a, with a thousand or less attack. Not face up. No, definitely not face up. I'd be better that. Um set pass. Okay. Aha! Uh -huh. What, times 300? Okay. Times 300? Stand by me. What are you doing? I want, I want to level summon this guy. What the heck? Uh, don't worry about him. Uh, so he's gonna, he's gonna attack. Okay. All right. So pop your trap card, and I take 500 yeah. damage. Uh, yes. And then I'll get in for another two, two, Jeez. Yeah, Terror King Salmon is kind of putting in a lot of work for yes, me. Yes, it is. Stand by main. I'm going to set. Okay. Battle phase. Attack for 300. Okay. <laughs> um, pass. Um, so you're kind of relying on me not having something that can get over that card, right? More or less. All right, I'm going to normal summon him. He's got 1,500 attack. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Battle for 200 and then. So, on your first battle, activate. So he gains 400, making him at 1700. Uh, okay. So it's destroyed and you take 200. Alright. I'll take 200. That is a good play. That will work. Uh, but then I'll just I'll just attack this guy with them. We'll take, we'll take yep. Them so that's what uh, seven hundred. I bought myself another turn. Oh yeah, it is. Oh, he's got seventeen hundred. Yeah. Yep. Yes, you did. 
What do, can you draw something that is going to fix the board state for you? Maybe. <laughs> I normal summon Ojama Yellow. What the heck? I activate Tower of Babel. Okay, I don't have any spell cards. I activate Monster Gate. Okay. Uh. You do realize that the player who activated the spell card at that time takes 300 damage. That's 3,000 damage, right? With a fourth one. Yes. I have no. No, spell cards. this is not what I wanted. <laughs> Are you gonna deck yourself out? Wait, what is that? Uh, it is Gale Lizard. <laughs> Yes! Bring out the Gale Lizard! Let's go! Um, I'm gonna summon, actually summon him in attack position, just because... I, okay. I need you to not be able to get over him with one... I, I don't think it matters. I'm gonna lose this turn. Yeah, I think you're, I think you're done. Alright, I'm gonna normal summon Absorbing Kid from the sky. Uh-huh. Uh, battle phase. I'm gonna attack there. Deal a thousand. That's game, bruh. And then absorbing kid from the sky in for the win. Let's go. <laughs> that wasn't how, even close. How did I win? How did I win? Because you had you had chaos sorc. <laughs> That's you had chaos sorcerer. That is how you won. All right, what? I'm depressed. Let's sign us out, Patrick. <laughs> yeah, uh, that was interesting. Thank you guys so much for joining us for this fourth episode of Draft Mode. Uh, the pattern is holding. I'm winning all the even ones. He's winning all the uh, odd ones. So make sure you uh, want to go subscribe on Twitch and watch us play more longer form Yu-Gi-Oh! As well as look us, uh, look us up on Apple Podcasts or Spotify if you're interested in Maocast. As well as it's also on YouTube here. So thank you so much for coming and have a wonderful rest of your day. Have a great week, guys.